Good morning, friend. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. If you're joining with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I'm the pastor of the Long Meadow Congregational Church, UCC, in Auburn, New Hampshire, and I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday when we worship together, but I also get to come here every Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church, and that's why I'm here today. First of all, I want to apologize for the lighting. It is a dreary, rainy, cloudy, kind of yucky day out, but I wanted to get uh, this video out there, and so I've got as much light as I can bring in here, but sometimes it doesn't work. It's not enough, but we just do the best we can, and sometimes things are like that. We do the best we can to meet whatever responsibilities that we have. Now, I wanted to talk today about something, actually someone, that I love very much, and that is my cat. I don't know if you, if you have pets, and if you have a pet, I'm sure that you love your pet very, very much. Sometimes people have dogs, sometimes people have cats, Sometimes people have fish or turtles or lizards or horses or all kinds of different animals that share our lives with us. And we're, we really love them very much. I have had my cat, uh, her name is Katie. I've had her since she was a teeny tiny little kitten. And she is now about, I think she's almost 14 years old, which for a cat is kind of older. Um, and so she's not as frisky as she was when she was a little kitten, but she's still in good health and uh, doing really well. And I'm really happy that she is part of my life. And I take care of her. And to me, that's a really important responsibility in my life that I always want to do the best that I can to meet that responsibility. When God created all of us and all of the world, God said to we who are human, I want you to take care of all of this. I want you to take care of all the plants and all of the animals because I love them and I need somebody to take care of them regularly. And so when we decide that we're going to bring a pet into our lives, into our families, into our hearts. We do so knowing that it's a big responsibility. And some parts of that responsibility, honestly, are no big deal. It's my responsibility to keep her safe and I keep her in the house. Now some cats go outside and that's okay, um, but because of my life where my schedule is um, changes day to day, I might be gone for you know 12, 13, 14 hours in a day and if she's stuck outside that can be a problem. So I made the decision I'm going to keep her safe by keeping her as an indoor cat and she has everything that she needs here. And part of that is food. I make sure that I give her something to crunch and I also give her some canned food that she likes because that has meat in it and that's good for her as a cat. And I make sure that she gets fed a little bit of this in the morning and a little bit of this at night. And she always has some crunchy food uh, that she can nibble on. I also make sure that she has fresh water every day that she can drink. I also sometimes give her a couple of little treats because they she loves them. It's like candy to her. And so, you know, it makes her happy. And just like we get to have treats, we don't eat them all the time. I don't give her a whole bowl full of these. But I give her a couple of them and it's a nice little treat and she really enjoys it. And honestly, that's pretty easy. It's part of my regular morning routine is that I feed her. And then in the evening after my supper, I also give her her supper. And those are pretty, pretty simple and pretty easy things to do. Some of the things, though, in 
uh, having a cat or dog, you know, maybe we don't always like doing everything that is involved. So maybe if you have a dog and you need to take it out for a walk and it's raining, but you still got to take the dog out for a walk because they need to get outside. If they're going to go to the bathroom, they need to go outside and do it. And so even if it's raining or snowing, we need to be able to make sure we let the dogs out. Well, with cats, particularly an indoor cat, we I have a litter box and it's down in my basement. She knows where it is. And that means I need to keep that clean so that she stays healthy and she always has a clean place to go to the bathroom. Well, I, I have to say, it's not my favorite thing to do, to clean out a litter box. It's not fun. I don't enjoy it. But I love her. And I want her to be healthy. And I want her to be safe. And I want her to feel like she's taken care of well. That she can trust me to take care of her. She can trust me to make sure that that's clean. She can trust me to make sure that she's fed she can trust me to make sure that she's safe. That's what it means to love someone, is to make sure that they are safe and that they are taken care of and that they feel loved in whatever way that we can show that. With our pets, we can do it by giving them food and giving them the things they need. And with our friends, we can give them our friendship. We can listen to them. We can spend time with them. We can tell them how we feel about them, that they're fun to be around. And I really like that. I really like to do things with you, and I'm really glad you're my friend. And so that's when we love the way God asks us to love. Sometimes it does mean doing some things that we don't really care for. But... Most of the time it doesn't. Most of the time it's doing things that are pretty easy for us to do if we just take the time and pay attention and let people or pets know how much we love them. This is what it means to love. To do the best we can for others. To do what we know will make others happy. And we do that to the best of our ability. And sometimes I'm a little late with her supper. Maybe I want to sleep in and I don't give her her breakfast till later. And she's not happy about it. And she lets me know, but she lets me know in a gentle way. She comes up and she licks my face really gently just to say, it's time to get up and feed me. And she doesn't get mad because she trusts me. She knows that all she needs to do is to lick my face and say, it's time to get up now, Ruth, and that I will get up and feed her because I've always shown her that she can trust me and that I will take care of her. When we trust somebody, we know that they will do what they've always done. And so we always want to be trustworthy to our pets as well as to our friends. That's what love does. It's, it's trustworthy and it is, can be depended on. Will you pray with me? Loving God, we thank you for all of the beings of your creation with whom we share our lives. We thank you for our families and our friends. We thank you for our pets as well. And we ask that you help us to always be there for them, to help them to feel loved and safe and taken care of. Help them, help us to be people who are trustworthy that they can count on so that they can lead long lives and always feel loved. Amen. I thank you for joining with me here today and I hope that you also are taking part taking good care of part of God's creation today, whether it be the people around you or your pets or some other part of the world, even on this dark and rainy day. It's a beautiful world we live in, filled with wonderful people and wonderful creatures. And I give thanks to God for that, and I give thanks to God for you. 
I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember, I love you very much. And above all that, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.